Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Chaz here with this Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to dominate with Yao Ming and NBA 2K15, my team. First thing you want to do is hit uh, left on the directional pad and hit RB to go to your offensive settings or offensive strategy. You're going to, to want to put on 4 at 1 and space the floor. And you're always going to want to call an isolation with Yao Ming. So left on the, uh, on the, the directional pad and then down on the directional pad. And my go-to move with Yao Ming is I'm always going to start out above the three-point line and I'm going to tap Y to go into the post. And the purpose of this is because you don't get ripped and there's a lot of moves that you can do to go out of the post that allows you to drive into the into the, uh, the mid-range pain-ish area and take nice shots. So the move I'm always going to start off with, especially if they're playing man, is I am going to tap Y to get out of the post and at the same time point my stick usually towards my back so if I'm on the right side of the paint I mean excuse me the right side of the court I'm gonna point that left stick up and to the right and I'm gonna tap Y and it's gonna give you kind of a nice drive animation I don't really recommend sprinting because sprinting is where losing the ball becomes a lot easier you lose control easier and you draw contact especially with someone as tall as a gal it's pretty easy to draw contact and get the ball stripped so, as you can see, <laughs> Yao Ming can bang threes. I just took a three there with Yao, and I only really recommend taking threes with Yao if you are wide open. And I only can really seem to hit them in the corner and the wing, but I am very effective with him in the corner. I can shoot 75% maybe, like if I, you know, if I shoot like a couple threes. I'm only going to take them if they're wide open. I'm not going to really try and create for them. So, pretty much that move that I've showed you, you know, tapping Y and pointing your your left stick towards your back and towards the mid-range area is going to get you a lot of looks. And now you can see my opponent has switched to zone. And zone is just as easy to, uh, to exploit with Yao. You just have to be a little more careful dribbling the ball. You don't want to draw too much contact. And, uh... My preferred method is trying to get around the guy at the top of the zone because uh, he's playing 3-2. And then you can either shoot the mid-range on a three-point line or you can post up a mismatch like I just did, tap Y, and then shoot. That's called a post turnaround. And with Yao Ming, it's absolutely unstoppable. And the reason why Yao Ming is so good is because he's 7-6 and the jumper that 2K chose to give him is a jumper where he's actually jumping a fair amount off the ground and his hands are you know nice and high it's a nice jump shot and it it really helps him <laughs> you know become a lot taller and much harder to contest and as you can see just another I did another post turnaround there uh, extremely effective I definitely recommend adding that to your repertoire with uh, Yao Ming and <laughs> I mean look at that you're playing zone. I'm going to shoot right over Steph Curry if I'm able to get, you know, around the, the free throw line area, maybe a little deeper. There's no problem with that. But next move I'm going to want to show you guys is essentially a very similar move. Uh, I'm going to be posting up above the three-point line. And what you're going to want to do is spin your right stick towards your player's back. And it's a really nice move that I think it's going to happen right here or it's going to happen like next, it's coming up. And it's a really nice move because it gives you a nice uh, spin and then right there it, it, it drove me into the paint. And uh, I believe I, ta I might have tapped sprint there. I don't really recommend tapping sprint because I didn't want to get too deep into the paint when I'm playing against zone there. Because ideally you'd much rather get contested by these little guys, uh, you know, at the top of the zones, than get contested by the big man. Even though you usually can shoot over the big men, you know, they contest more fiercely when they're around the basket. So it's always better to try and shoot from around the elbowish area. And, I mean, look at that. I post spin around Steph Curry, and then post up, I believe that was Garnett, and just post turn around and shoot. And my opponent's going to be able to try and rip me. Like, he's going to try, and he might get a rip or two here and there, but it's really inconsistent because of the post up that I'm doing. 
it's very hard to rip a player in the post. You have to get the right position, and it's it's you could just move away from him. It's so easy. And uh, if they bring a double team, if you're posting up, it's very easy to move away from a double team when you're posting up because since you're posting up, it's hard for them to actually get the double team going. It doesn't really stick well. But as you can see, I finished the game up there. I won 66-54. And I scored pretty much everything with Yao Ming for the most part. I don't recall really taking shots with other players. I mean, I did here and there, but for the most part, I think I ended up dropping 56 with Yao. We'll see here. 59. 28 for 42, which is not bad, considering this is my first game really trying to dominate and just only use Yao Ming. But I hope I gave you guys some helpful tips there. It's been your boy Chaz Who in this gaming. Subscribe for a lot more NBA 2K15 tips. And I'm out. Peace.